These are components used in the project Atmega 328P microcontroller and holder, 16 MHz crystal and two 22 picofarads capacitors, five clear self fading RGB LEDs, 5 mm, OLED screen 128 by 64 pixels, and BMI 280 sensor. And not to forget that I will solder two pins, female pins, for holding the sensor and the screen. And let's solder all the components. Take a look at this beauty. All is on place, everything soldered, and the PCB look fine, super fine. Next step is to place the microcontroller at Mega 328P, which is programmed with the code. Also, I will put a link to download the code for this weather station. Okay, let's place it. If you're wondering how I program the, the chip, here, here I have a Arduino Uno programmer and here it is the zip socket for programming the chips and this is nice nice board okay here it is the sensor that goes right here very easy the OLED screen let's place it take a look at this all electronic components are placed and next step is the case. With my 3D printer I print out a tiny dinosaur. The design for this thing is in description below. You can check it and download it and print yourself. These are 3D printed parts for the case of today weather station. And this is the PCB. This is the front 3D printed part of our tiny dinosaur weather station. And here on top of, of the head there are holes just for getting in the air so can the sensor read. Let's uh, assemble it. It's finished it and now I'm gonna turn it on. Wow, this is awesome. The design of the Dino Weather Station is truly unique. The project PCB is designed to look like a tiny dinosaur, which is an excellent addition to the 3D printed case this is that it's also designed to replicate a dinosaur shape. The front panel of the case is made out of pure white material 
which provide an excellent contrast to the diffused lighting provided by the RGB fading LEDs. Additionally, the OLED screen is perfectly placed on the front panel, making it easy to read the weather information displayed. The functionality of this Dino weather station is easy to, to use and provide accurate weather information. The OLED screen displays the temperature, humidity and pressure readings, which are updated in real time. The Dino weather station is an excellent project that combines both functions and form. The project is easy to build and all components you can find online they are very used right now. With its accuracy and unique design, the weather station is an excellent project that is worth building. Take a look at this skeleton circuit gadget. I'm adding more electronic components. And what is it? Here I have uh, in skeleton version, I have a basic solar charging station or solar using supercapacitor. These two are solar panels that both of them together give 5.5 volts to charge the supercapacitor and this supercapacitor is 2.7 volts 100 farads I got from eBay $3 or $4 I think per piece and at, at bottom right corner here I have a small circuit that will that will use the energy absorbed by the sun to make something. Here I have the 80 tiny 85 Atmel chip that can be programmed. I place a wow. Here I place a connector for programming the chip. Just for experiment, I place one LED that is connected to the chip, and we, this is the small micro switch turning on, and the LED is blinking. Okay, let's go behind. Here I have uh, three dots just for dropping the voltage so we protect the supercapacitor from over charging and this will be the primary battery in this case I'm using a supercapacitor and also I'm adding a small 2.7 volts 10 farads as secondary power supply I will place some there some here maybe okay It's a good project. I also have a, this tiny OLED screen for Arduino. It's 64 by 32 pixels. And if someone write the code for some operation, I can add the screen right here. Suggest in comments what should be this gadget. I forgot to mention that this is a forgotten DIY skeleton circuit project, and I decide to continue with this one and add one more function to the this basic frame. Here I have a add mega chip that will do something and adding one more thing and adding a secondary power this supercapacitor and the primary solar gadget with stand I hope you liked today's video which was a short demonstration of my forgotten solar project please Write in comments what you think and what you suggest. See you in the next time. 
its smallest OLED screen that I found, 64 by 32 pixels. And upload the code and voila, text on the screen. Hello and welcome back to my channel and let's see today's video. This OLED screen is 128 by 64 pixels and this is today OLED screen 64 by 32 pixels. There is a big difference. And if you want to check this Dino Weather Station project, just check the link under this video and watch it. 0.49 inches OLED display widescreen model 64 by 32 pixels from eBay. It's around uh, from starting points price from $2.5 and up to $3. So this tiny Arduino screen, tiny screen cost around $3. Okay. So here it is the guy. It's very tiny. And I'm gonna measure that this board, ECB board with all the screen is almost 15 millimeters by how much by 16 millimeters very cute i have the oled screen but i need a microcontroller i need a power source and here it is a model with lithium battery and 80 tiny 85 micro microcontroller fix it with glue on that pin header okay here it is the 80 tiny 85 microcontroller fix it with glue tiny wires solder it to the pin hold holder for programming the chip at, and at front I have a pin holder for for the screen and also the lithium battery 100 milliampers and tiny switch for turning on and it goes like this turning on yep working the little guy is working very good and it says hello 80 tiny 85 october and youtube and repeating i can turn it off on and voila in description below i will put links you can download the code the code is the same for using the 80 tiny 85 or at mega 3 to 8 chip or arduino uno and that's it arduino code to work you need to install a libraries and these are two the two libraries that you need to install is the ssd 1306 minimal library and tiny wire m library without this library the code will not work when you open the code you can change the text here it says hello you can change it 80 tiny 85 you can change it and october you can change it you can change the delay between the the text whatever you want i'm sharing and you can download it in link below take a look at this it's so tiny in my hand and it's working gadget with smallest oled screen that i found it costs around three dollars just the screen you need 80 tiny 85 microcontroller you need to program it i program it with whoa with this guy okay it's a short video 
of showing that this tiny screen can be programmed and also working with this microcontroller 80 tiny 85 I like that those chips hello and welcome back to my channel in this video you will learn how to program 80 tiny 85 microchip us using USB ASP programmer here is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to program the 80 tiny 85 chip First, install the Arduino IDE software. If you haven't already, download and install the Arduino IDE from the official website. I will place links below this video. Installing the 80 tiny boards. Next, you need to add support for 80 tiny 5 boards in the Arduino IDE. To do this, go to File, Preferences, and in the Additional Boards Manager URL field, add the following URL. I will also put this link in description below. Install the 80tiny85 core. In the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, Board, Boards Manager and search for 80tiny and install the 80tiny by David A. Miles. To connect the 80tiny chip with the USB programmer, you need 6 wires to make the connection between them. A typical Arduino ETSP header has 6 pins arranged 2 by 3 rows. In circuit serial programming, that means ETSP, that have functions of ETSP pins, which include MISO, MOSI, S, C, K, voltage, plus, ground and reset. All pins must be connected properly, so can this work, can work fine and check twice all the connections. Pin number 1 from the microchip go to reset, pin number 4 from the chip go to the ground, pin number 5 go to the MOSI, pin number 6 go to the MISO, and pin number 7 go to SCK, and pin number 8 go to 5 volts positive. Set the programmer and board settings. In the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, Board and select 80tiny85 with internal 8 MHz clock as the board. Then go to Tools, Programmer and select the appropriate programmer that you are using. In my case, I am using USB programmer that have ETSP connector. The Arduino IDE will compile the code and upload it to the 80tiny85 chip. That's it. Your 80tiny85 chip should now be program it with your desired code. I hope this video was useful and that you learned something new. Please subscribe to my channel and once again thank you for watching. Take a look at this gadget. USB LED flux capacitor from Back to the Future movie. And let's find out how to make it. We're gonna start this project with 12 LEDs with yellow light. These LEDs are working on 3 volts, but we're gonna use a resistor so we cannot blow them up. And all we're gonna solder in shape of Y, letter Y. For making the flux capacitor, we're gonna start from the 12 LEDs. With these 12 LEDs, yellow LEDs, we're gonna make 3 rows by 4 LEDs and fix them with super glue. Here I have a handwritten uh, very simple circle diagram. Here it is the 3 rows by 4 LEDs and every row is connected with the other and we have a 3 rows by 4 LEDs and we have 4 pins that, need be, that needed to be connected to the 80tiny85 chip plus ground and here it is the resistor of 330 ohms 
that I'm using for the LEDs. One resistor is enough, believe me. After making the Y shape of LEDs, next is to making the case and I'm using the PVC plastic from PVC pipe and just heat up that plastic and you can work very easily and make it any shape you want. The cables and the connectors that are near the LED flux capacitor I made it are made from tiny wires red and the yellow and they turn out pretty cool in details great so we can get that LED effect for the flux capacitor uh, we need a microcontroller in this case I'm using 80 tiny 85 to control control four LEDs the 80 tiny 85 and the LEDs will get voltage from the male USB connector that is behind the gadget and I fix them with super glue also and connect the wires directly to the chip so here it is mini version of flux capacitor from DeLorean car back to the future movie and this is USB LED gadget let's plug in it Take a look at this beauty and how it's working with all details, the cables, the effect with from the LEDs, the text shield eyes from light. <laughs> Great. 